Hey, what's up, everybody? Today, I want to talk about Robbie Ray and an absolute star-making season that he's had this year. It's been absolutely incredible for him. Uh, his ERA, everything is is actually putting him in contention for the Cy Young. Absolutely out of nowhere. He was pitching pretty much his entire career in Arizona. His ERA was always in the mid-fours. He didn't seem like this type of pitcher, but his strikeout rate was always incredible. He came over to Toronto uh, during the shortened season last year. He quickly signed uh, this year for a one-year deal because I guess he really enjoyed working with Pete Walker, their pitching coach, and he has been absolutely electric. I did a video earlier in the year about Kevin Gosman dominating with two specific pitches, the fastball and the splitter. Well, in Robbie Ray's case, it's the fastball and the slider, and an absolutely incredible slider. You can see that pretty much all of these strikeouts are coming off of that one pitch lowing into the righties. It's very similar to the Randy Johnson or Chris Sale approach. And once again, Pete Walker has had some reclamation projects over the years. Marco uh, Estrada comes to mind. J.A. Happ and the successful seasons that he had after being in Toronto. You can also look at Marcus Stroman or even Taewon Walker, who's having one of the best seasons of his career after just a brief amount of time with Pete Walker in Toronto. And as you can see, that slider is just diabolical from Robbie Ray. The other day, he struck out 14, tying his career high. Final thing I want to talk about is the one knee down catching approach. I had actually come down on Alejandro Kirk earlier this week for going to that one knee down approach. If you watch all of these strikeouts, he's completely removed it from his arsenal. He's staying on the balls of his feet. He's staying nice and spread out and athletic and mobile. That's the way I want my catchers to be. My final point is Robbie Ray attacks the strike zone now. He's a ferocious competitor. And this guy in the offseason could be signing a massive deal.